Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today some of my fans asked me how to like edit photo this type of photo to this type of polished photo so this is not a high-end retouch but uh, here is the retouch options uh, and that is important for a uh, photography and the color grading as well so I'll show you two things one is the skin retouch and uh, number two is the color grading so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications this is our main image so i have that image i downloaded from this uh, the freepeak.com this one is a main image and i'll work with that so turning off or just closing it up so controller command j at first and controller command j j three copies or three layers this one is the main options this one is the blur options and this one is the sharp option or high pass okay this one turning off the sharp and select the blur options going to the filter and from here blur options lots of blur options over here but uh, i'll use here the gaussian blur and here i'll make the gaussian blur like this that's fine and hit okay and after that turn on the sharp and after that going to the filter again and going to the other and from here high pass options from the high pass options uh, if you want to make the texture like this or this not too much otherwise uh, it won't work properly this one is a standard one and you have to select or you have to choose over here and then just making it into here is the hard light just making it hard light and selecting these two things making it group and giving the name retouch and mask this group and control command i for the reverse mask and then here is the brush options going to the brush and the opacity 40 or 37 or 35 that's fine and flow 35 and brush size you can increase or decrease by pressing third bracket opening and closing and make sure that this one is white and this one is black and now you can just brush out the portion which one you want to make a little bit smooth or smooth like that so one thing is that you can uh, do the spot removal before uh, you just done this so it's totally up to you if you want and make it zoom and make the brush size smaller if you want to get the a perfect result over there and this portion the portion of the upper side of the eyes and lower side of the eyes these areas and most of the area which is really prominent and like just decayed by the spots and you have to recover those things and like that yeah let's see the before and after use change you are appearing over here you are getting over here so these areas you have to be careful when you are just brushing uh, don't brush too much otherwise it would be the more blurry and that's why we just made the opacity down to do gradually so that's good and then select these two things or that means through layers and make it convert to smart object and this one is a retouch and after that going to the filter and then camera filter so from here i will use the preset here are lots of preset user preset actually and i am using here the my preset which is the asm and here is a 20 number presets and if you need from here the exposure you can make it down a little bit and the highlight a little bit down and contrast that's fine and the with blacks a little bit up from here the dehaze options uh, and the shadow a little bit up and a warm a little bit like that and so on so you're getting the before and after i um, just made this one so what i have done in that preset let's see the uh, settings here is the effects i didn't use the effects and the calibrations if you want you can use the calibration it's totally up to you you have that assumption to make this and then effect i didn't use geometry didn't use color grading from here the shadow color here is 360 the value and the saturation 4% and the blending 100% that's good 
here the highlight uh, here like that and the color mixture and for the highlight let's see the highlight settings 133 or 113 and the percentage that is like 13 here is the assumption to change it out suppose if you want you can make this one like that so that's cool and the mid tone if you want you can change up the mid tone so like that color mixture hue which color will be and the saturation percentage of the color and the luminance intensity of the color orange intensity like that saturation of the orange i'll make it down and luminance of the orange i'll increase a little bit that's fine and the detailing options here the no noise reduction and i'll add a little bit color noise reduction that's good and the curves i made the curves from here the input value that is 255 and the output value 253 and input value 136 and output value 127 input value 50 and output value 44 input value 0 and output value 12 that's good and the basic portion uh, i'll make it a little bit cool that's good and i'll save it out for you guys and i'll provide you that download link in my video description and giving the name that is the grading color grading indoor so this one is the indoor photo and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and providing the final output before one and after one you're getting the polished image which is really cool and after that i'll go to the filter again and going to the nick collection color effects pro this one is another favorite plugins of me just because of bunch of filters i'm getting over here in a uh, one platform and uh, i do love to use that from here i'm using the cross processing and sub method nice na nice types of uh, sub methods over here which is uh, really perfect for your photography you have to find it out and in this case i'll use the l02 and here you can increase or decrease the portion and hit the ok button so it will take time a little bit several times to make it uh, load and after making load you're getting the output like that before one and after one really cool type if you want you can increase or decrease the all the steps before and after so this one is our today's learning and the today's class hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link for the xmp files and other plugins i have used here you can get the link in my video description down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the amazing tutorials in next until the next video i am signing out and stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye